In this video, I'm going to show you how to create fake long exposure in Photoshop. The first thing you need to do is to separate the foreground and the background. And to do that, start by going to select, then choose sky. For the most part, Photoshop will do a good job on selecting the sky. If not, you can choose any selection tool, then click on select and mask. From here, you can take the Refine Edge Brush tool and then paint on any areas that is not properly selected to enhance your selection. Once you've done that, you can output your selection by changing the output mode to Layer Mask and then click OK. In my case, I needed to enhance my Layer Mask a little bit more, so I inverted it by clicking on Ctrl or Command I and then I used the brush tool with the blending mode set to overlay and I painted with black on the edges to remove the background and with white on the buildings to enhance the edges. So now that you have the foreground separated, now we need to separate the sky on its own layer as well. So start by shift clicking on the layer mask to disable it. Take the lasso tool and then make a rough selection around the edges of the building. Then go to Edit, Content Aware Fill. So the green area is the area that Photoshop is sampling from and you can add more sampling areas by painting with the brush tool or you can exclude areas by also painting with the brush tool using Alt or Option. The end result doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be blurring the sky later. So click OK to accept the changes and you will see the new Content Aware Fill information on a new layer. You're gonna need the whole sky on its own layer, so click on Ctrl Alt Shift E or Command Option Shift E to create a stamp visible. Now you can delete the Content Aware Fill layer and then drag the stamp visible layer underneath the foreground layer. So now that the foreground and the background are separated, now we can get the best result of a long exposure without having some bad looking edges. So now what you need to do is to convert the sky layer to a smart object and then you can go to Filter, Blur Gallery, and then choose Path Blur. First, if you don't see the blur controls, you can click on Ctrl or Command H to show it. Then you can choose the control points at the edges to move the controller and change the blur direction. You can also add more control points by clicking from the area that you want the blur direction to start and then click again to add another point. You can also add more points in the middle and move them to change the shape and the curvature of the blur. On the right hand side, you can use the sliders to increase the speed and the taper of the blur. You can also uncheck centered blur to get a smoother result. And once you're happy with the blur result, you can click OK to accept the changes. As you can see, this is the first result of the path blur filter. The clouds are a little bit harsh and you can add another blur filter to make the cloud smoother and make it look more like a long exposure effect. You can do that by going to Filter, Blur and then choose Gaussian Blur. Then you can add between 8 to 10 pixels of blur, click OK and this is the end result of the long exposure effect. So that's how to create a fake long exposure in Photoshop. If you liked this tutorial, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you can also download the project files from the link in the description to follow along. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial.